is going on everybody welcome back to the channel you are joined with john grant john g at the ride home review so thanks for joining us if this is your first time what is the ride home review what i do is i go to the theater i go check out a movie and pretty much give you guys my first reactions of it right out the theater so this is more of like a first action review just my thoughts just coming straight out of the theater and the movie i saw you guys already know from the description but the movie i have saw is rambo mr sylvester stallone is back again back at it with another rambo movie uh this one's gonna be i mean pretty straightforward uh self-explanatory my thoughts of the film is this a movie you should go see I would actually say no. Um, Rambo is not a movie you should go see in theaters. Save your money. Wait to watch it on Netflix when it's free or, you know, get it on Redbox for cheap. This is not a movie for you to go see. It must see in theaters, in my opinion. Um, this film is uh, pretty much, your, you know, your generic Rambo film pretty much which which isn't a bad thing let me let me put that on there as well um just because i'm saying don't go see it in the theater i'm not saying that it's a trash movie per se but, well i kind of take that i think i think it was a pretty bad movie story-wise i think it was pretty god-awful and terrible <laughs> but uh the action was still really cool so uh story completely god-awful uh, one of the worst stories I've probably seen this year. Uh, but with Rambo, you really don't go and see it for the story. You know, you go to see Rambo for the action, the, the intense. Uh, let me take a swig of this water real quick. Please forgive me, guys. Ah. But yeah, Rambo is definitely something you don't go for the story. Um action of course had great action story was completely got awful like i said uh cinematography wise um it was okay it wasn't really that good very basic kind of action kind of film this was by uh sylvester Stallone's personal uh brand he has his um balboa studios where he uh, produces and funds his films and stuff like that. So this was a uh, Balboa production movie. So, so yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's start off with the actors and the actresses. There weren't really too many actors and actresses in this movie. There was Sylvester Stallone, of course, as uh, Rambo. He did a okay job for an old ass Rambo. Um, you know, he pretty much was going through life with that uh, post post mortem syndrome, where he was, uh, you know, he he would reenact or hear things or gunshots or explosions and stuff like that. Um, post war stress, um, and he had a. Uh, this little girl at the time um, who it wasn't her his kid but you know he's been taking care of her for like 10 plus years and she's she's older now and she wants to go and try to find her father um, the girl she did an okay she did a pretty solid job too uh, she did an okay job um, then there was like the fucking like aunt or whatever the sister of old girl's mom she was okay too she did an okay job and then we had the, the Mexican cartel dudes and the cartel the Rodriguez brothers or the Martinez brothers I don't remember what they it was exactly but those guys were okay too I mean overall you know I would I personally think it, it was a pretty bad film um the whole time it's the whole movie's flooded with plot holes but it's still an enjoyable movie to go watch for some action um 
uh, to go and watch with the boys, have some fun with. You know, it kind of reminds me of like that. Now, there are some sad parts to the movie, but it does have some of that old school classic kung fu style kind of, you know, you, you and your boys can have a couple beers, kick back, you know, you know, order a pizza and, and have fun, you know, joking around and watching this, watching this movie. Uh, so, like, I mean, I mean, there's really not much else to say except just breaking down the story overall i mean the, the whole story premise i would say it's really in two factors two parts um the the girl who rambo's been taken care of she finds out that her dad's still alive and he lives out in mexico she then goes out to mexico to try to find her dad uh after john and then we're telling her not to go to mexico she ends up going to Mexico anyway, and while she's in Mexico, all this drama happens. She ends up getting uh, mixed up with a uh, cartel who's like sex trafficking and stuff like that. Get another swig of this water, please, excuse me. Ah. Also guys, before I continue with the story, hit the bell, hit the sub if you haven't already. You know, I'm making daily videos. I'm, I'm, I'm putting out a, a good amount of content, you know, daily videos every single day. Uh, please show some love, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I remember when I started this thing, I, I only had two people that subscribed to my channel. And I was like, man, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, I just love posting content anyway and uh, doing stuff that I love, like movies and stuff like that. But, you know, even even the people that I have right now, my uh, we're almost at 500 subscribers. I can't, I appreciate all you guys for subscribing and joining the cause uh, because I love what I like to do and I, I want you guys to enjoy my content too. And we're trying to get to our first big milestone, our 1,000 subscribers. Um, you know, a lot of people say that the 1K sub hit, you know, hitting it legit at least, is one of the hardest milestones to hit, um, you know, in YouTube. So, you know, uh, I, I would appreciate if you guys would help me out as much as you can and check out some other content too. That being said, I'm going to hit another swig of this water. Please excuse me. My, my throat's just so, my throat's so dry. A little bit off topic real quick started jogging every day and with my jogging uh, today actually I kind of pushed myself with my breathing and I don't know what the fuck I did with like my tonsils or my throat or whatever but I just fucked up all my vocals so please excuse me drinking this water and breaking down this horrible movie <laughs> Um, all right. Well, that being said, let's continue on here. Uh, so she gets caught up in the cartel, uh, the sex trafficking. She, she's at this club and she gets roofied and drugged and she gets taken out of the club. And these grimy ass cartel motherfuckers are, you know, selling these girls for money. Once, once John realized she's kidnapped, he then goes to try to find her. He goes through a bunch of shit. He gets jumped by the cartel boys. He gets beat up. And then they get his ID. They find out where he lives. Then um, Rambo then comes back to Mexico. Um, kills one of the main honchos of the cartel. That pisses off his brother because the guys were brothers. And then uh, this is where the second act comes in. John Rambo then goes back home. He actually does save the girl, but she ends up dying, like, back to his house. And, uh, you know, he kills, his, he kills the main cartel dude's brother. That guy's pissed, so he's going to go and kill John. They got his ID, so they know where he lives. Um, and then uh, Rambo sets his whole house up like an adult fucking version of home alone and 
fucking just baits and traps these guys and kills all of them at the end. Takes the fucking guy's heart out of his chest at the end of the movie like fucking Mortal Kombat. So that was uh, kind of entertaining, but it's just super crazy. Um, I mean, there's all kinds of... There's so many gripes I have with the movie, I'm not even going to go through them all. So, um, that being said, guys, thanks for listening to the quick review. Be sure to hit the bell, hit the subs for more reaction, review, news. Thanks for listening to the podcast. I appreciate it. I love all you guys. Post in the comments below if you saw Rambo, what you thought of it. If you didn't see Rambo, you didn't really miss much. So, thanks for listening. And with that being said, take care of yourselves and be easy.